Let me check this. That sounds right. Fine. Oh. I need to actually like open my chat and to pop out because I raided somebody. I pop out the different chat now. I guess we can start the run. Oh shit. There we go. There we go. Got the chat all set up now. Professional streamer. Oh. Ooh, let's go. Man. Uh, I guess I played all right earlier. I got played horribly. Should I go for West Escape? Eh. No, I don't think so. I might practice it and go for it like soonish though. I kind of got the West. Oh shit. I did the same thing earlier out of Backwalk. Except it wasn't as bad as it was earlier there. I just need to not like change from down until I let go of Z. I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I I don't know what okay. Whatever. I don't know why I let go of Z there. I guess I was thinking too much about letting go of Z. And then I did it there. I don't think it cost me any time, and it looked pretty cool. But I think it was frame perfect. Well, I may have, like, let go of Z and then done a backflip after. 
he calmed back a little bit, so maybe not frame perfect. So actually, if I was holding down, it would have had to be frame perfect. Damn. And it's not like frame perfect is extremely hard. Or like, close inputs like that. Just kind of on the same frame, like go and press A. That's pretty synced, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, not Noah. Oh, and then, then it's, the auto host came on. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, something that annoys me about how Twitch hosts is, like, if you pause a stream or, like, mute it, and then, like, it hosts, you they host somebody, like, it unmutes it or unpauses it, I think. You're like, what the fuck? Just like some random dude talking. But like that's one thing that annoys me a little bit. So like if you like pause the stream or something and then like it they host somebody or they just like start playing audio. Yeah, there's a couple weird things. I don't know. I honestly don't like how do raids even work? Cause I know you can hit join to get joined into the raid, but even if you don't hit join, you go through with the raid, right? So I don't understand why you get to join if you go through with the raid anyway. I don't know. That's pretty weird. I just thought about that, but yeah. I don't know. Which devs retarded. I mean, I think that's like a purposeful choice. Like, that's not... I mean, I think it's like an intentional, like, design decision. I guess, like, maybe if you hit join raid, like, I don't know. There's some kind of psychological thing there. That just seems kind of weird, I don't know. That, like, could be going to that length. Twitch video player is like worse than YouTube's, for sure. I think it's gotten like ever so slightly better, but it's still pretty crap. I think like, I don't know, I guess like they kind of want the raid to like replace the host because I guess like 
viewers tend to like stick more with a raid, I don't know. So, but they didn't want to just like replace the host feature, they wanted to like make a new feature so it didn't seem like they were like changing things and being like mean like that. I can see that. Because like, one, like the host, like, the raid like changes the chat and everything so you're like completely like on the stream. The, like, host is just kind of like you have to like actively click to go to the channel. So it's like kind of awkward in that sense. Because you're going to want to see the chat of the streamer you're watching. Oh. Oh well, I guess I'm not doing the owl skip. Forgot to take damage from those guys. That's that's funny because not Noah, like the other person in chat, like he said the same thing. Oh yeah, I'm not doing the out skip. Illuminati stream. We climb the vine. That is pretty like weird. It's not even like a common comment, like I mean it's the first time I've ever gotten like a comment quite like that. And I got it twice in one night, like that is pretty abnormal. Aliens confirmed. That's pretty good. I'm gonna play it safe. Alright, I didn't get too punished for playing it safe. If he's already in the corner, I feel like risky about just going up there because he could start coming down and like make me do a lot of frame perfect setups. It's not like impossible, but it's risky. I guess you're here for a run now. <laughs> you're tired, but oh nice. Make it a fast one, Kappa. Yeah, I mean, I guess like, I don't know. Yeah, like the whole, like hosting somebody and like, I guess like, I can kind of see the argument for like the host not having the other chat, like, so that like, one community can like talk separate of another community but i mean that's not really anything that ever happens on twitch so it's not a valid argument yeah there's like the pleb chat gdq hosts or whatever I don't think it's necessarily a bad, bad thing, like, for, like, 
posts when you're not like just finished streaming. But I think raids like work better just like sending to another person's channel. I guess like maybe if like you host, like maybe a viewer will like find that page open and be like, oh yeah, I like this streamer and like follow you or something. I don't know. I did, that seemed very unlikely. They definitely, like, are kind of, like, sneakily incentivizing raids. Because there's, like, you know, Twitch achievements for the number of raids you've done and stuff like that. So it's clear that that's kind of what they want you to do. I mean, like, I think there are, like, some views from, like, auto hosts. I don't know. Like every once in a while you'll see like one viewer from somebody, but I don't know if that's just like people like going from that page to your page in a different way. I don't know. I guess like if it's from somebody that means it was on their channel page, so it's probably from the like host. But it's not like a incredibly common or a large number of viewers for sure. I know, like, Fig would get some, like, a good amount of viewers from, like, ZFD auto hosts, like, before he streamed, like, ZFD streamed, like, viewers, like, gathering before he streamed or whatever. I feel like smaller channels also smaller channels, like nobody really gathers before you stream. Like it's just kind of like show up when the person starts streaming kind of thing. Why am I sucking at dot skip? I mean, there's only two pauses there, but I don't like pausing early. Yeah, like, it definitely helps out, like, sending viewers, like, after uh, a stream. I don't know, like, how many viewers would stick around if it was, like, you were hosting something completely unrelated to what you were doing, though. At least, like, a lot of times, like, I think it kind of depends on the viewer. Like, a lot of times when somebody, like, hosts somebody else, like, sometimes I'll go through with it, sometimes I won't. Like, overall is actually my PB and then changes, like, I lost 1.8 seconds this split. I gained 8.3 seconds last split. And then, you know, if I, like, I have other, like, comparisons, like, this is the average. You can tell by, like, the detail, like, the detail timer, it says, like, PB best. The one that's, like, at top is my comparison. I could add, like, a comparison line, too. That would just take up more space. It'd probably be more clear though, so I don't know. It's something I've considered before. This is like a line you can add there, it's the like current comparison PV. My splits are really scuffed to you. What seals scuffed about them?
I guess like the background image kind of feels skull. I don't know, I could move the image down a little bit. That would probably make it look better. Oh, just like the two different columns. So like, I don't know. Like, I was, I was two nine point two seconds ahead. Now I'm seven point four seconds ahead. So I lost one point eight seconds. That's what this first column is. I don't know if it's confusing to other people. I'll just get rid of it. But I just had the extra space. I figured I might as well put something there. Maybe it could use a more descriptive name, I don't know. Yeah, the second column is what I'm actually bad over on, or behind. That's why it's like overall. I don't know. I mean, that makes sense to me, but maybe that's like doesn't make sense to other people. You didn't notice the image? Yeah, I could move it down a little bit, it probably. It's like, kind of like the center point of the image is like up. I don't know, it does, I don't know. I can't think of a better way to do it. I can make it more clear. Like, what should I name it that would make it more clear? I don't know. I mean, I could just remove it too. Maybe I could name the second column something better that would make it like clear that that's the PB. Yeah, I mean, it's just like when the I had the PB video. Like everything had to like get a little bit smaller, so it turned out I had more horizontal space in the split, so I could like easily fit another column in. I don't know. It might make more sense if I removed it though. I can see how like maybe it would be confusing. I guess like the extra space won't hurt that much and I could if I remove it then I can remove like the labels and I can add another split back in it's a little confusing to you yeah I mean I want it to be definitely clear like I don't know I didn't think it would be like a huge deal because I've seen other people have like splits with like large number of columns. Like I've had seen people like have splits with more than like the number I have. But yeah. I mean those splits are probably just even more confusing. But I can see how it doesn't even really add anything. Because like technically the information is displayed in the numbers. Like, and you just add or, like, you just subtract the last one 
and the one there and then the information is right there so it technically doesn't even add any information it just like does the math for you Yeah, the second column is like how much ahead or behind I am. Yeah. It's good feedback though. I'm definitely gonna remove it. It was just kind of like a why not is why I added it, but I can see like why not now. I'm better OT. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't done much better OT. I heard some people on BC were complaining the buffering was faster than normal. I mean, if you only wanted to run some better OT, I guess it wouldn't be a problem. The problem is you don't have a computer with SD card and shit. Dang. I think you can maybe do it, or like if you don't have a computer with SD card slot, like you can buy like an SD card to USB adapter if you really want to. I don't think they're super expensive. You might be able to do it with your phone too, but that'd probably be like pretty weird. I don't know exactly how to do it. Like, you have to reformat and stuff. What? Come on. Alright. That tech tight. First column represents like the change on each split, so like I saved 20 seconds on bomb, that's what that means. Like I'm 27 seconds ahead and I saved 20 on bombs. Yeah, I mean a lot of PCs won't have SD card slots, I mean some of them do. Yeah, I'm probably going to remove it after this run, because I can definitely see how it would be confusing. And, like, like I said before, it doesn't, like, add any information. It just literally, like, displays what you could do with math. You know, like, 20.2 minus 27.7. I guess it isn't technically 7.4, but it's probably, like, rounding stuff. I mean, it only displays the last split gained or lost down there. So, like, if you wanted to look at the run at all, like, where did you lose time or gain time versus PB, like, after the run or, like, back in time, and you'd be like, oh, I lost, I gained eight seconds on Zelda. But, I mean, you can just simply do that with math. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. I usually do a Hess here in all dungeons, but I haven't been doing it here. But if I'm gonna like go for always for a bomb drop, no matter what, I probably should do a Hess there. If I'm sometimes going to skip the bomb drop, I definitely don't want to do a Hess there though. It's like you need like at least 15, kind of. And it's cutting it pretty tight. Yeah, I, I don't think it, like, it's that expensive to buy an adapter. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you buy a gaming PC now, like, you might have to not have to upgrade for a while. It's like, we're kind of reaching, like, the... The end of Moe's Law, which is, like, the... Like every like couple of years, like the transistors on like a board double, because they're getting like so small. We're reaching like physical barriers to making things smaller. Wow. Okay, I fucked that up really bad. Whoa. Uh, okay. Because I missed the first test, that was really weird. I still shouldn't have fouled in, but... It's not something I'm really used to doing, missing the first test. I think building it is generally cheaper than buying it. Where am I? Alright. Well, okay. I don't really care. That was all RNG manipulation. Did I get the bomb drops? Ah, uh, might as well. It's only like a couple of seconds to get this. I'm glad I got like some bomb drops from that grass finally though. I didn't get any in like my stream earlier today. And it's like 50% every time. I tried to like run backwards to get away from that. It still hit me. Should have just took it. There's a couple of things you can do to avoid flames, like, if you hug the wall, like, you can't throw the flame against the wall. Like, sometimes it's just like, you don't even see it around the corner and then it hits you, or like, you roll right, like, you do right as you start a roll. Yeah. Yeah, I use a CRT TV as well. You don't necessarily need a CRT TV, but it's really helpful. Oh yeah, I fell in the water, I almost forgot. Oh well. I'll save time on this, but to getting lucky on the bomb drops. That was really stupid time loss falling in though. I was just surprised how far left I was, I don't know.
That was pretty good. Yeah, I'm really not sure CRTs are the most practical. I think like if you could somehow find a low latency monitor with like composite inputs, that would be literally the best you could do. I think that low latency monitors, like modern ones, actually have lower latency than CRTs. Like if you go to like they all like probably are HDMI. So like they would have in input delay converting to HDMI. If it does have composite inputs, like, I don't know, it might just, like, convert to HUI behind the scenes. I figured I could probably gold that. I definitely need to practice on cart instead of the practice ROM for that. Even if it's just like, I don't know, you being crazy. Fuck, I accidentally targeted. <laughs> Last stab <down> too. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world though. CRT. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a huge CRT if you really want one. I don't know. Like, a huge CRT is really hard to get your hands on, too, because it's not like it's something that will ship easily. Hey, Smashback. Yeah, I don't really know much about HD capture, to be honest. Oh, I didn't split. It's about even with PB. Like, I've never even done anything with HD capture. I've only done, like, composite stuff. I think the HD capture stuff is generally, like, more expensive, though. Or at least from what I've seen, like sometimes catcher cards can be like upwards of a hundred dollars. I don't know, maybe that's just like the really high end ones I've seen. I don't know that mid end ones exist. I think a lot of uh, capture cards have like a pass through when they're HD capture cards. I don't know. I think a lot of people say like Elgato is pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what generally people use that have weed HDMI stuff. Got an HD60 Pro for 150. Yeah, okay. So it's like one still like over a hundred dollars though. Which is like way more than a like composite capture, which is like you can buy like the cheapest of the cheapest capture cards for like a cup like less than twenty. 
I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend like EV USB 2 has worked okay for me. Like when I bought like a really cheap capture card, it was actually like dead on arrival when I ordered it. So that wasn't very nice. I think that was like $30, $40. Yeah, I thought I bought was like an easy cap or something. And like that was just like dead. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. I've heard some people like have them and get it working. So, I don't know. Maybe I just gotten lucky. Bad RNG. Actually, it didn't get a refund because we, because it was like bought for me in like a different, like state. So it's not like we wanted to drive back to the store to refund it. So yeah, I mean it's not like it costs a lot of money. Even if I bought it online, like you have to pay for return shipping on that kind of stuff, so it wouldn't have been much better. Like you get the money back, but often like they'll make you pay for return shipping. And like at that point it's like half the cost for the item to pay for return shipping, so you're like, fuck. Is it even worth dealing with them to get half the cost of the item back? Pause it, sure. That was a good recovery, I guess. Do love the Arado Pro. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I've definitely heard of capture cards like that. It's pretty cool, like, it broke and you just, like, got to send it back. That's kind of what you get for like paying for more premium product though. slow that last little bit okay <sighs> I 
That was clutch. I failed that a couple of times, that has a cross when it mattered. So that was a little bit scary. I've been consistent at it before I started doing no armor homework, whenever I had to in all dungeons. The jump slash timing is definitely harder. I guess I'm glad I got those bombs. Well, I just probably wouldn't have done the super slide across if I didn't get the bombs in Dampe's grave. So yeah, it was worth getting them for sure. I mean, like, I could have not wasted bombs too, but... Yeah, sales are often a good way to do it. get. Oh shit! The game really appreciates me. Like I don't even like four bombs. This even doesn't help me that much. Like three is like really good. Only saves a couple of seconds for that last one. I'm really happy though. It's like one sixteen to get four there because they're each fifty fifty. This is like all my unlucky runs have led it to this run. I get two bomb drops from the grass. And four bomb drops from the armos. This should gold. Might even be my all dungeons gold, I don't know. It wasn't the fastest to hook shot the great, so you're trying to learn glitches and prep for the race on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know much about glitches. The flame skip in DC. Yeah, I actually messed around with that, I think, before for something. It wasn't like glitchless, but. I think it was actually like. OT 3D, and he percent Kappa, if I remember correctly. I think there's like a non C up setup for that if you're interested. I don't really know where to look for it though, I've seen it before. This one, I mean, obviously could be better. There's a couple mistakes. I mean, actually, it caught quite a few things. The main one I remember off the top of my head is Bongo. That's a good gold, though. That might be in all dungeons gold as well. It's like the same split in all dungeons. That was a pretty solid split. It could have been faster. I could have hookshotted the grate better. I spent like four seconds there. What's world record for no I'm wrong with it's 114.19. This is like what I am versus world record right now. I have actually have the split in my split. Oh yeah, hookshot was horrible too. I remember that. The so hookshot and jump, uh, like those were the worst ones. There's definitely a lot of things I can improve on. Like one of the main places I lose to world record is like early game. 
they do like West Escape and they do a couple things on Buffered that I still do Buffered. But other than that, like it's mostly just like consistent mistakes. I mean, I guess if you wanted the idea, like the sum of best for world record is 112 something, like 112.22 or something. So I can improve my sum best by like um, two minutes and a half. But like, I already know like where like a minute of that is at least. If not more. Cause like, you know I can gold mirror shield by quite a bit. Wait, is he already done four? Fuck. This might be a fifth one. Or is this? I think this is four. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I think I was right. That was 210. If I was wrong, that would have been the fastest Twin Rover ever. And it definitely was not the fastest Twin Rover ever. Yeah, that was four. It was like 410 for ending the first phase is a good time. Or 210, I mean. Like on the segment timer. Yeah, Bongo, yeah. I mean, Bongo wasn't really, like, it, you can't actually die there when doing that. Like, he doesn't actually deal damage or anything. The Valley to Cheetah rights. Yeah, some of the places I can go, like, 30 seconds bow, 20, 15, 15 or something against the Andor. At least the place I have left that I can go. There's other like places over the game. Hey, once David. Yeah, she really likes saying my anus too. I guess I'll get the heart this run. Since I'm like a minute ahead. I probably could have called it if I didn't get the heart. But. Gold didn't have the heart. Or Gold gets a heart as well, I mean. This can definitely 117. I have enough bombs. Shit, well. I thought that text box was longer. Lol. Well, I was taking a drink of water. I was like opening it. It's 2.30, and you have a bad cold. You leave the stream open. Alright, I'll try not to scream too loud when I PV, Kappa. I probably won't scream at all. I mean, it's not like I've been trying for this PV forever. If I do all dungeons, though, tonight, you might be in danger. <laughs> but it probably won't do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, what? Why didn't he jump? Uh... I've never seen anything like that, actually. Like, legit never seen that happen to anyone. Alright, rip 20 seconds. It's happened to you? I don't know. I don't know what I should do to have it not happen, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Apparently, falling off the tree is a good meme, because it actually happened in World Record 2. He fell off the tree. You blame Noah for leaving. You just think that spot's evil? Yeah, I would, I would tend to agree that's probably what it is. But I feel like I've jumped around there before, so it must be a pretty small spot. I've, I've like never messed around with it or anything, so I don't know. Maybe if I mess around with it, like, I can figure out what spot it is and not have to worry about it again. But I shouldn't focus on that right now. I'm fucking up. I'm trying to get ISG, but I guess I'm just not going to. This is the worst stuff of this fight ever. Literally. Fuck. Okay, I played that really badly. I don't know. I know there's a fairy in the other pot, but that's like way harder to get. And she can fly out through the wall. Alright. I know, I'm really mad about that. Like, for some reason, I decided I was gonna get ISG. But I didn't like back off from the, the, the dudes. And you can't really get ISG when you're like recoiling off their shield because it lags every time you hit their shield. So the timing's different than normal. Alright. Why did the camera do that sometimes? Probably because the angle jumped in. I guess I should do this. Alright. That forest temple is going to suck. I guess you guys know about how much it's going to suck because of the PB video. I really have no idea how much time I lost. I think I lost like 20 seconds from the tree thing.
It's also one of your mates. Hey, thanks. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Alright. Assuming you have friends. Alright, well, I don't know. I lost more time than I lost. I feel like I lost, like, I don't know, 20 seconds in that South Coast fight. And, like, at least, like, 20 seconds to the tree. But I can also gold that split by 30. My god. Alright, I'm kind of, like, whatever. That was a really bad split. Yeah, I mean, essentially I lost a minute there. Like, I lost 40 seconds to world record, technically, but world record lost like 30 seconds there, or like 25. I mean, I'm still ahead. And like, I can gold this, and I can, uh, like, do this. I can gold the end door, but probably not going to. You went to check your pizza? It wasn't sad face. Pepe hands. What's the current world record? 114.19. Yeah. Or you mean... Oh, I don't know what you mean by well, WW. I assume you meant world record, but... Like... Yeah. World record. <laughs> yeah. I'm hunting world records. Yeah, it's fine. Somehow I understood what you meant anyway, Kappa. I'm omniscient. I don't even think I noticed it was WW. I just like, my brain saw the W as the first one and was like, that's definitely an acronym for world record. <laughs> Man, Yeah, I think the context probably definitely helped. My brain had probably already like half decided what the last word was gonna be before it saw it. You can't eat frozen pizza. See the change or I don't know. I don't normally eat like frozen pizza. You've probably changed, though. I mean, like, college kids will eat anything. I say that as a college kid. Unless it's healthy for them, then they won't eat that. No delivery where he lives? Damn. A hard life. <laughs> oh well. I guess I'll have a minute to save on bone next run, Kappa. Cause I can't gold it by like at least 30. I don't know, I have to like actually be really good at the split to gold it by 30 though. Like my stealth hosts generally aren't good enough to get that 30 second save.
Though I did get like, I think the gold I set actually was like with a clear 15 minute, 15 second mistake. So I can at least gold by 15 seconds. Thin knee bombs, at least. Yeah, that's first stop I fight. Like, I was just like going back and forth between whether or not I wanted to get ISG. I mean, I guess there was other worse mistakes in the run, like falling. Well, like, I guess falling in the river, like, I don't know how, remember how much that lost. That's like 15 seconds, and like the bongo thing was 15 seconds. So I guess I shouldn't beat myself up that much about the mistake. It was just like. I made a mistake for like 20 seconds instead of like a 2 second mistake that cost 20 seconds. Yard sales in Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen it like that. I got hit into the loading zone. Well, that works. Whatever works. I was kind of a clean Lazalfos fight, at least for me. Why are these- these Stuffos always seem way nicer than the ones in Forest Temple, I don't know why. Maybe it's the room layout or something, I don't even know. You got your pizza, nice. Last one there on like the last hit. So it was kind of sketch. It worked out alright though. Just slightly slower. Yeah, alright. I guess I'll just walk this. I don't think it's good to try the Hess again. Cause it's like so curved here, like you can't really get like a good back walk off. The house is kind of weird with the stairs, it's like even different than slopes. Yeah, like you definitely have to like get good at them. Like this category isn't as bad. Because, like, even if you don't want to do the hardest strats, so it's easier strats you can do. Like, there's not just, like, you have to do this strat. Of course, you'll lose time if you don't do the hardest stuff. 
Like, you, if you don't want to do Spirit Hover, you can go through Spirit. If you don't want to do Boat Skip, you can go through Shadow. I, th I think it should gold. I'd be really surprised if it doesn't gold. Because it had good Stalfos, good Lizalfos. Everything. Of course, I could mess up this fight, but... Oh, I didn't gold. Interesting. Oh, I guess I missed the Hess. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah, you can. We don't actually have a bottle in this category, though. It's not a bad fat, though, in like 100% and stuff like that. Because if you use the bottle, like, you can keep, like, IFB. Or you can keep your stored, like, Jump Slash. So you have to do, don't have to do like another jump slash after you deflect it. Yeah, it's just because I have ISG. And like constantly hitting them like keeps them locked down. You could also time crouch stabs to do it, but it's like hard. Especially because of the lag there, like it's kind of like a weird timing. And like Almost changes. Oh, with the RNG fairy. I actually got really good RNG this run. I got four bomb drops at the Armos. Which doesn't really matter that much. Like, it's just about as good as three for my route. But still, it's really nice. And then I got two bomb drops at the grass. But I got no bomb drops at the grass earlier today, so I kind of deserved it. Oh, I didn't even see that. Fuck. Alright, well. It shouldn't be that slow. I didn't. I didn't even see a shadow there. I don't know if there was one. <sighs> Whatever. I always split at this like first explosion. Oh, I split a little bit early. Time the round only had two twos for spear hover instead of one, which is a big deal. Kappa, yeah, I bet it, yeah, that's a pretty big deal because you don't have to get the untargeted on the first. You only played this game all the way grabbing the master sword. You didn't know what to do after. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to figure out what to do. Like, go get a quick shot. That's like really weird. I don't know. 
it's actually like there's a couple of like weird things that like you just have to almost know how to do like pull the grave for the hook shot I mean like she tells you to attack Rico but you don't really know what for so it's like kind of like a hard thing she says go to CAC and then like I think I don't know somebody told me that you're probably supposed to read like Dampe's diary and like after that like try and pull its grave or whatever is that kind of the intended thing, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's like, not easy. Especially if you're a kid. I think as a kid I only got to like Forest Temple, but I was using like a game guide, so I kind of cheated. I went to roll through his legs and didn't like go. I'm not gonna do jump sashes on the tail for the second phase though. I guess I'm glad I got the heart and spirit, huh? Otherwise this run probably would have died. This game, you didn't know how to beat some of the game. Yeah, I suppose like it's just a function of time. Like you spend enough time, I guess, eventually you figure it out. All right, I guess a PB is a PB. I'll take it. I mean, like, I don't know. What did I lose a lot of time on? Like, best. 31. 30. Oh, yeah, but that was Shadow. Mirror Shield. And I can gold that, too. Bow, oh, and I can gold that, too. Flaps. Yeah, nor if I can gold. I don't know why I was so slow this run. I feel like I'd done other parts better than other runs, but probably did so oh yeah they didn't do the hat I remember that in the run and I forgot it now I remember it again Kappa. yeah I guess not bad oh wait what oh this is average it's like why is the PB1 that right team 30 um I don't think it's was it the first I mean it's definitely not the first run of the day because I did a stream earlier but it was the first run of the stream, because I've only been streaming for one hour, 20 minutes. <laughs> 